If you're ready for intense pain and suffering, clap your hands. I don't know if my mic would pick that up, but oh well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, I thought it would be a nice interesting idea. Hello penis, why is the penis whipping me? <laughs> Wee. Uh, I thought it would be a nice idea if we get some sort of a mini-series going on this channel, something that I could come back to every now and then and have some fun with. So, what I've come up with is, obviously with Beta 18, we've had some, uh, well, a lot more third-person customization options. So, what could be a good idea is trying out some very weird and very wonderful ones and seeing really how I do online with them. So, what I want to do is, under however many of these videos I make, obviously they're not going to be like back-to-back -back every day, um, I would like you guys to comment leaving me some very, very interesting suggestions for either third person or first person weird camera angles. And I'll try them out and we'll see how I do. So right now, what I'm rocking with is for the very, very first one here is everything is unticked. So no lock to bike dynamic or follow. And then everything at the bottom is all maxed out. So we are as far back above and to the right of the rider as possible. I, I imagine this is gonna be quite difficult um, in my mind, what I think is going to be the hardest thing is going to be judging my speed for the jumps, because I know as soon as you mess with FOV, especially if you're like myself and you've been on the same settings for so long, your entire perception of how fast you're going completely changes. So I could hit this jump, for example, and think that I'm going at decent speed, or I might end up completely overjumping it, I might be going way too slow and coming up short. I think that's really where the problem's gonna lie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly try and spin a lap or two just to get used to this. And then I'm gonna hop into a race and see if I'm either gonna want to uninstall the game, which is probably gonna be the likely case, or if I've now found the new meta, the new third person way of riding. Well, that was very refreshing and surprising. It only took two poles for the race to actually start. And there was 11 people accepted it, so there should be a decent amount of people in it. Oh my God, that's a lot more than 11. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen people on the gate right now. Lovely stuff. Don't get to see that all the time. It looks like I should be number eight six four right now, but I'm actually controlling the guy just to the left over here. Um, it's so oh, it's so weird. It's so distracting. I imagine that I, I'm probably going to get really annoyed during this race. I've I've been finding myself getting very very easily uh, peed off at this game recently. I mean, the first things first. Let's see how this start goes. I imagine it's probably going to be horrible. Let's, let's go. And... Don't wheelie! Don't wheelie! Oh, you bastard! Oh, it was almost a good start. Oh my god. I just need to chill out and let the carnage unfold. Chill out. Not get my nose cut off by everyone. Not hit the bikes that are down on the ground. Oh my god. God. I tell you what. Uh, basically... Going into those first two corners last, I think I survived a hell of a lot of traffic. Just need to be very wary. Finding recently, like, especially when you're playing these public servers with people that probably haven't played the game for very long, it's so easy for people just to suddenly swerve over on you, almost as if I'm proving my point. Brother, please. <laughs> oh god, I've cross jumped now. Find out that's another difficult thing that I'm finding out at the moment is I feel like I'm constantly turning left slightly where my bike's over the left hand side so I keep trying to counteract it but I don't need to but like it is actually okay after all so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to we'll see how it goes this, this guy on KTM is making me so nervous so he's, he's very nice there thank you very much oh god oh, keep it going I am still on the uh, updated Yamaha model by the way because I know people are going to ask it is on MXV mods. It's a Yamaha model replacement. Check up a little bit again. Don't want to get, to get cross jumped. I feel I'm going to get landed on though. Oh God, he's right behind me. Go, 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 go. Panic. Oh, I think I'm, I'm slowing down too much for some of these jumps now. But then I'm over jumping others. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stay on the track, please. Stay on the track, please. Don't get a weird front end thing. Oh! <clears throat> that was my fault. That wasn't his fault. He was in the air. He couldn't stop. Oh, I've caused a pile up. What have I done? I'm so sorry, I'm the problem for a change. Oh, look, it's still going on back there. <laughs> oh, God, well, at least that's given me a little bit of breathing room. I'm so sorry to the guy on the KTM. That was all my bad. And I, I want to say, by the way, um, someone sent me this Halloween skin, and I don't think I ever rode it at Halloween. And now it's been so long, and I don't know whether it was over email or if it was uh, Discord DMs, but I just found it in my game while scrolling through my uh, kit selection for today's video. 
And so I just I do want to apologise that I never ran it around Halloween time and that I've completely forgotten who you are. But thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And that's, it looks quite cool. Got a little spooky, spooky skeleton vibes going on. And I don't dislike the orange going with the blue and the black. I think it's not a not a too terrible combo. Oh, Mr. Bike, Mr. Bike, thank you. Oh, God, this is going so much better and smoother than I anticipated. I was going to be wadding myself every, like, half a lap or so. Uh, I mean, if, if you're bored on bikes and looking for things to do, definitely just mix up your camera settings and see how it goes, see how it feels. Who, who knows? You might find something new that you really, really prefer. Uh, one thing that I really like about this camera angle is that you get to see everything that your rider is doing. And if there's one thing that I can compliment MX bikes on, out of everything else, even after all the times that it frustrates me and all the weird wonky physics, is how the animations look in third person when you're doing whips and stuff. I think it's so nice. It's nice to have a rider that's not fully just glued to the bike. Nice that he can take his feet off and stretch the bike out here and there, and it's just very refreshing. And I myself, as a first person rider, I don't get to see it all the time, so it's it is very nice. And you could say, oh, you, you see other people around you anyway when you're in first person, but we all know that everybody else on this game as well as when you're watching in replay or if you're just watching people whilst being on your own bike it's never true to what's going on you know it's always a bit a bit weird and wonky and the game's net code can distort things sometimes but it's fine that's why we all love it it's, it's got its problems but <laughs> we do want it to be fixed and uh oh please land it please land it oh god for some reason i thought my front end was gonna tuck there stay nice and low i'm very very surprised i've got a bit of a lead going on here Oh, I fully thought that in, in these lobbies, you always get one, at least one person in these lobbies that are absolutely on rails because they play a lot of farm or like Walnut, for example. It's very, very hard to hop in these, doing some weird challenges and, and just succeed. But so far, so good. And I'm going to say, if nobody has given the YZ... Oh, sorry, do, let me do YZ, otherwise I'll get moaned at. If no one's given the Yamaha 250 much love yet, if you're kind of looking for a new bike or... If you don't, not sure what bike to use, try it out because I've been really, really enjoying it. I've got some, I've got stock suspension on it right now, um, but I've changed. I think the swing arm to two, and I've put the the fat rear tire on it. Other than that, it's all stock and it feels really, really nice. Which is strange because I swear that I tried it in my early days. Oh god, oh god, go 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 go. I'm pretty sure I tried using it in my early days of learning this game, and I didn't like it that much over say the Cowie and the Honda. I feel like as grip changes and as the meta changes and as I've kind of learned the game a bit more, I'm really, really liking it. Part of, I mean, I, I want an excuse to ride it more than anything because I really, really like this uh, this model swap. But outside of that, it's just a really good bike. It, it does what you want. It's not too bad. It's, it's fast. It's not like you're riding the Suzuki, for example, which is just 100% a, a power deficit. And it, it does it does hold its own. So, I mean, what, what is your favourite 250 to ride? I know... A lot of people aren't too sure. I feel like a lot of people follow the crowd. And it's like if, if a fast person is riding a Cowie, then everyone will ride a Cowie if a fast person's on a KTM and so on and so forth. That does that's just how how the game is. People think that if they suddenly ride the same bike as someone else, they'll they'll get to that same speed rather than putting in the time and the effort to, to get to that speed. But that's I think that's like it on, on most games to be fair. I remember back in I think it was twenty like 18 ish at supercross rocked up at a1 uh everyone was qualifying originally on the ktms i turned up top qualified on the husky 250 and next thing you know check back the next day there's a whole lot of qualifying times on the husky so it's it's always going to be that way let's go this. am i on oh for some reason i just looked over at the timing i thought this was on a lap basis it's not it's on time so 50 oh so we've still got i think we've got like another three laps i think this is like a six minute plus two and i believe we just barely crossed the line before that timer expired so we've got a bit of time to go i mean looking at the map we've got one or two lappers that we can come up with that could cause us some, some issues maybe if they go down and i get unlucky but for the most part it's been fairly uh smooth sailing and i, I want to apologize as well that we're doing another race on like you know the same old same old same old tracks Oh, that guy in front of me, he's got the Loretta Lynn's bib on. That's quite cool. I downloaded that the other day for that Loretta's video. Uh, it's like, it seems to be like all public lobbies nowadays just seem to be Walnut, Farm, uh, Washougal is on the Steam servers a lot. And it tends to really be about it. Oh, that lap was nice to me, gave me a lot of room. And it's a shame because, I mean, late at night for me, obviously 
the servers do get a little bit different. You get a lot more of the American guys on, they want to play some different tracks. It's like a whole different community appears at night. But I can't record that late because I can't can't keep everybody in the house up. It's just, it's not in me. I can't be an arsehole. And I know full well that I'd get moaned out the very next day anyway. So I can't do it even if I wanted to. Uh, it's, it's a shame. So I'm, I'm actually recording this video. At, it's currently 4.30 p.m. on Monday. So whenever it goes out, just for reference, that is the time that I'm recording this. So I think people were slowly coming home from school, so the, the servers are getting more populated. Uh, but this is just like a really good time for me to be doing this rather than uh, later on, because I tend to edit my stuff later on in the night and record it er earlier beforehand. But yeah, just sorry that it seems, seems, to, keep, keep, seems to keep, it's not getting tongue twisted, seems to keep being on the same tracks. I've got my own server now, the Lin's Daddy, however, uh, there was nobody in it at all <laughs> at the time of me uh, hopping on here. And I did try the other day actually trying to get a few people in. Uh, no, nobody seemed to be interested. Probably because I was on the Enduro Cross, the indoor track made by Resolute Kraken. Uh, I'm sure if I'd done some other tracks, it would change. But if you boys ever want to go and hop in and play some different tracks, then Lin's Daddy is where it's at. It's rotating through, I think, like eight or so different outdoors tracks. All, all free ones now. I did originally have some paid ones on there, but I understand that not everybody has all these paid tracks and it's probably a bit unfair to have everybody in a server, it changed track, and then you can't play because you don't have any of the paid tracks anymore. So I've mixed it all up. It just rotates through tracks every three hours or so. Um, so don't worry if it resets and you haven't got the track that it changes to, then you've got more than enough time to go and download it. Set to 20 minutes of practice, and then it will automatically go into a six minute plus one lap race. So you're not gonna be waiting around all day for races to start and poles are in there. So if anybody does want to do anything different, you're more than welcome to. There's, there's nothing more frustrating, in my opinion, than hopping into a server and there just being no races at all. It's like, I'm online, I want to I race people, I want to test myself. And I, I just feel like if you want to just spin laps, then just, just do it in testing, you know? Or just hop into your own like private server with your buddies, that's not coming back around. Holy shit, that, <laughs> that flung around so quickly. Is that second place? Oh, okay. That is second place. Um, wait. Just looking at the timing and scoring is not making sense. Has he got loads of cuts, or has he got a lap not count? Because it says he's behind... I mean, we'll see in a second once it's all sorted itself out. I thought we had a big gap. I don't know why. Come on. Come on. The timing scoring needs to be fixed as well, by the way. I'm not sure if it's just a Max HUD issue, or if it's an issue with how the game calculates the times, but it's so annoying watching people go to P1 every time someone crosses the bloody finish line. Because then I never truly know what position I'm in, and I'm selfish, and I want my stuff to work, not everyone else's. Oh, god, lad. There we go. Oh, so I am in the lead. So Mr. Jonesy here in front of me, he's got a hell of a lot of cuts. wonder where he's getting them from. I know you usually get cuts if you just barely clip through these uh, these little flags on the side of the track. Which is a shame. But uh, it means, I mean, I've, I've, I've won, but I've not won in terms of track position. It's fine. I mean, let's be honest. I, it's probably quite difficult playing in this camera angle. I've not found it too bad this, this time around, but I'm sure you guys are going to come up with some very, very... Uh, weird and wonderful combinations for me to try out but that'll do it for this video that actually went fairly uh, fairly good fairly straightforward i uh, hope you've enjoyed nonetheless and if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'd really really appreciate it have a lovely rest of the day whatever you guys are up to and until I catch you in the next video peace one of them make it, I guess, you know I live with the criticisms People are giving up, beginning to put it upon the pedestal A pen that fucking thoughts, but I never asked for change My work ethic is ridiculous and yours is not the same I swear to God that I wrote it all with a pure intention The truest testament with no excessive false aesthetics You couldn't imagine a fathom the effort I'm exuding My heart is sold in this shit, but yet they forced me to prove